Hello, good morning, and a very warm welcome to a snowy Cardiff Bay on St David's Day. A very special day for Wales because this building behind me, the new assembly building, is going to be officially opened by Her Majesty the Queen. If you just take a look behind me, last minute security checks are taking place now. There's a substantial police... Of course, there's much more to come on this milestone day in Welsh history. We have an extended lunchtime programme. Celebrate St David's Day on BBC One Wales, whoever you're with and wherever you are. Yolo flies with kites at ten past seven. How do you say he's behind you in Welsh? <laughs> the learners get their Welsh wings in the final challenge at eight. I ate surprises, you know. And after Scylla finds her Welsh roots, Hugh Edwards tells the tale of Owen Glyndor. It doesn't get much better than that, but it does. Great TV, all about Wales, all night. St David's Day on BBC One Wales. This is BBC One Wales. The pomp, the ceremony, the building and the controversy in Wednesday's Wales Tonight. Yes, the Queen arrived with all the splendour of a state occasion. Presiding officer, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to declare this building open and I wish you success in your future deliberations. Despite the early snow, crowds of well-wishers welcomed the royals to Wales. But the controversial building also drew protesters. I'm fed up with all this money being wasted on all this rigmarole when the people, the sick, the needy, are desperate in need of houses, schools, jobs and hospitals. Hello, what a day, the most historic St David's Day of a generation. We're live in the gallery of the Senate tonight as a special reception gets underway. That's it, there'll be an update just before seven. Now it's time to join the BBC's news teams where you are. Goodbye. Good night. Good evening and welcome to a slightly chilly Cardiff Bay on a very special St David's Day. Today has been a moment of history for Wales. It's taken eight years and cost £67 million, but today the new assembly building is here. Not everyone wanted it, but today the Queen officially opened the new Senedd. It shows pride and confidence in the future of Wales, in the future of democracy, and in the central role of the National Assembly in the life of the nation. Hundreds gathered for the royal opening, and the Queen said it was a moment for us all to celebrate. And celebrate they did, but was the excitement felt through the whole country? And a special gift from Down Under, a mace from New South Wales, finally reaches its new home. Also tonight, hundreds of schools closed, gritters out across the country. It must be the 1st of March. And military history made with a merger of some of our most famous regiments. Well, it's been a day, <laughs> more of a day like winter here this evening. It's freezing tonight, and despite the cold weather, the crowds still came out.